What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode or this new review. In this video, I'm going to review and compare two oud fragrances from the house of Ajmal. Ajmal is my most favorite house whenever it comes to oud. Whenever I'm looking for some oud based fragrances, Ajmal is my first priority. And after that, I used to go for other brands. If I don't find uh, something in Ajmal, only then I will go to some other brands. And the second most favorite brand for ouds nowadays for me is Ahmad Al Maghribi. But here in this video, we are going to review and compare two fragrances from the house of Ajmal. One of the two fragrances is already reviewed by me. And I have done that review, I can say like two to three months back, if I'm not wrong, or maybe more. And that perfume is Dhan Al Oud Kadim from the house of Ajmal. And today I'm going to compare this perfume with another hard heater, or you can say uh, the most uh, famous oud based fragrance from the house of Ajmal. Uh, that is Tahan Al Oud Shams Special Edition. So both of these perfumes are pure oud perfumes, pure oud based fr uh, fragrances. This is already reviewed by me. The review is available on my channel. You can go and check it out if you are interested. So today I'm going to review this or you can say I'm going to compare these two. And on the journey, you will also find out that how this perfume actually smells and what are the differences between these two perfumes. So let's start our review. And as always, we will start with the presentations first. So for Kadim, it's already reviewed. So you can check the detailed presentation there in that review. But here, let me give you uh, a short uh, look around. So you'll get this perfume in this beautiful box. And as you can see, there are some ingredient details in the back and this beautiful cut out design pattern on the front. And let me show you the portal. Portal here is very beautiful for uh, Kadim, for the Hanel Oud Kadim. So you'll get this perfume in this beautiful bottle. How gorgeous it looks. I really love this bottle. It's very nice and beautiful. So this is the bottle and this comes in 30 ml. And now let me show you the presentation for uh, Dehanel Oud Shams Special Edition. By the way, guys, there are uh, two Dehanel Oud Shams. There is Dehanel Oud Shams only, and then there is Dehanel Oud Shams Special Edition. Here I'm talking about Special Edition. So here you will get this perfume in this box. There is a sleeve which you will get here. It's a brown colored sleeve with this beautiful design, as you can see here in the camera, some ingredient details and the name of the perfume in the back of the sleeve. And then you will get this beautiful solid box. This part here is made of leather with all this beautiful engraving or embossing. And then here in the back, once again, you will find the name of the perfume and all ingredient uh, details and the seal of quality here in the down and at the bottom. Here you will get your barcode and I think batch code, etc. Yes, your batch number is here on this sticker. So to open the box, you have to lift this part and here you go. You will take it off and you will find your beautiful perfume bottle resting here. This is not a foam cutout, but it's a plastic mold with this beautiful velvet finish here. And now let me show you the bottle. And the bottle here is very beautiful. Once again, you will get this perfume and this beautiful and gorgeous bottle. So royal and rich looking bottle. You can see the whole design here in the camera. I don't think I have to explain each and everything here. Very nice metallic uh, piece here, metallic covering on the, on the sides and beautiful metallic cap. This bottle is very similar to uh, Mukhalat Al Shams from the same house and then uh, for Dehan Al Oud Shams and then Dehan Al Oud Shams Special Edition. All three bottles are very similar. The only difference will be here on the cap. The name is printed here on the cap side here. Uh, on the neck, sorry, it's not the cap, but on the, on the neck, the name of the perfume you will find on the neck. Printed on the neck, I'm sure if you can see it here. Yes. So even this perfume comes in 30 ml quantity. So the quantity of both perfumes are same here, 30 ml, 30 ml. But price wise, this perfume is around 320 or something dirhams for 30 ml. And this perfume is, I think, 200 and something 
UAE that runs for 30 ml. So this one is more expensive as compared to this one. And now let's see that how this perfume actually smells. So let's start with Oud Shams Special Edition. So here, uh, this perfume opens a little bit green. You will get a little bit fruity and citrusy nuances here in the opening. Some fruity facets with some spicy tones, some spicy touches, along with the sweetness of Oud and that woodiness of Oud. A very strong oud here, a pure traditional Arabic style oud, banyadish, hardcore, woody, sweet, resinous. But this is more fruity with some citrusy facets and some spicy notes here. So this was about Dehner Oud Shams Special Edition. And now let's see how we can compare this to the opening of Dehner Oud Kadim. So here, as compared to uh, the Hanel Oud Shams Special Edition. Here, you will also get some touches of fruitiness here, some facets, but they are very light, very light, and they're going to stay with you only for just, uh, for the couple of minutes. Uh, the fruity aspects here is not as prominent as here in uh, Shams Special Edition. And this is more woody. And here you will get that fruity nuances mixed with very strong uh, woody notes, some old, dusty, wet kind of uh, woody feel you will get in this perfume as compared to uh, Shams Special Edition. In Shams, uh, the woody notes are not wet. They're not going to give you that old, wet, woody kind of feel. But here in Oud Kadim, as you can see from the name, Kadim means old. Here you will get that old, wet, damp, uh, kind of woody feel. So this is the first difference in these two perfumes. This perfume is, yes, it's banyardish, but not as much banyardish, not as much uh, woody, strong, dark as the Hanan Oud Kadim. This is, you can say, a little bit more wearable Oud here. And Oud Kadim, the Hanan Oud Kadim, this is more daring, more challenging to wear. And then in Oud Kadim, you will get a lot of leatheriness here, leatheriness of Hindi oud because I think uh, they have used a lot of Hindi oud here in this in this composition because this is I think a blend of two or three ouds here. So here uh, Hindi oud is dominant. So you will get a lot of leatheriness here. On the other hand, in uh, Shams Special Edition, the Hanel Shams Special Edition, uh, you will not get that kind of leatheriness here. But this is always remains more fruity. So I think Cambodian Oud with some Laos Oud is used here uh, in uh, more quantity. So more leathery, more fruity. So this is the second difference here. And the, the third difference is the green and citrusy nuances are going uh, to stay with you for a very long time in this perfume in the Oud Shams Special Edition. And in the dry down, it becomes a little bit more woody, but it never becomes that dark. It never becomes uh, that wet kind of uh, wood here. And it gives you that little bit dryness in the dry down. On the other hand, this is more hardcore. This is more dark, it's more woody, and it always stays very difficult to handle, very difficult to tame down. And then even in the next day, this becomes more dry and more woody. On the other hand, this will become a little bit tamed down and it becomes a little bit more wearable. So this was the comparison between the Hanel Oud uh, Shams Special Edition and the Hanel Oud Kadim, both from the house of Ajmal. I hope you're going to like this comparison and this review. And uh, this, this was about these two. For performance wise, both are great. Both of them are going to stay on your clothes for days, even on your skin. They are going to stay for a very long time. Projects like crazy. This is a little bit uh, more stronger and more long lasting as compared to this. But uh, don't take me wrong, this is not uh, a weak scent. I mean, <laughs> I mean to say if this is uh, on the second day, you will find this one a little bit more stronger as compared to this, but still uh, both of these perfumes are beasts. They are going to uh, perform and perform and perform. So the choice is yours. Go to the Ajman store, smell them and choose wisely. So this was about the performance. Gender wise, 
This one I think is more wearable. Ladies don't like ouds that much, but still if some lady wants to wear an oud fragrance, I think this will be much easier uh, to wear. Uh, this is pure masculine. This is also masculine scent, but if a lady wants to try, I think she should try this one first before trying this. And now let's come to the age group. So for age group, you should be mature to wear any of these. Uh, even if you are a youngster, uh, you must have uh, that kind of taste. You must have to develop that taste to like oots. And if you have that taste for oots, then uh, try yourself. And I think as uh, a youngster, once again, this will be easier for you to handle as compared to this. This is some really hard stuff. Both of these scents can be used all year round. If you like oots, if you are living in a country uh, where you can wear oot all year round. Uh, otherwise, for the cold weathers, both of these. For the occasion, oh, you can rock these both perfumes wherever you want. Oot based perfumes uh, can be used all year round, anywhere, everywhere in Middle Eastern countries, especially in UAE, or if you are living in Saudi Arabia, or if you are living in Qatar, Bahrain, all these Arab countries, they can wear these perfumes all year round. And even me, I love the smell of both of these perfumes. I have already sprayed them on this blotter paper. For me, both are wow. Uh, this, I, I'm going to use it for layering purposes because on its own, this is not a uh, kind of scent which you are going to appreciate uh, a lot if you are wearing it alone. So you must uh, use it as a layering. One spray of this perfume and then you can mix it with some floral, some rose or some any other kind of mukhalats. On the other hand, this perfume can be used as a standalone uh, scent. And for the occasions, uh, it all depends on you. Uh, depends on your country, depends on your location, depends on your liking, depends on your environment, depends on the type of people uh, you are hanging out or the type of people around you. So for me, I can use this perfume in my office, the malls, wherever I want. Definitely not in the gyms, not in the sports activities. No, they will choke you. Uh, otherwise, other than that, anywhere. And now for the price, I have told you already 30 ml for 320 something dirhams, 30 ml, 200 uh, something UAE dirhams. I don't remember the exact amount. You can check the website website of Ajmal to find out the final price of these two perfumes. So this was my comparison, come review of the Hanel Oud Kadim and the Hanel Oud Shams Special Edition. I hope you liked it and until the next video, take care and bye.